Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today we are going to talk about a problem on contingency table. Okay, so I'll share my screen with you. The following table displays information for S&P stocks on how their one-day change on October 24, 2011 compared with their year to change. So you have two rows of data, positive changes on October 24, 2011 and negative change on October 24, 2011. And you have two columns and these are year to date performance. First column is positive change. Second column is negative change. Okay, so part A, what percent of stocks reported a positive change over the year to date? In order to do this problem, first we have to total the columns and then the rows. So first we will total the column, total. 164 for 48, 8 and 4 at 12, 6 plus 4 at 10 is 212. And similarly, the second column total is 8 and 258. Okay, so if I write a total over here, if I add the sum of the two column totals, I get 470, 258 plus 212. Now I will total the rows. 233 plus 64 is 7, 9, and 3. Okay. And 48 plus 25 is 13. 4 plus 2 is 6. And 7, 73. So 7 plus 3 is 10. 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 7, 4 and then 70. This is your sample size. Sample size. Oops. So I have to use that. Sample size. This is my sample size. Okay. Let me reduce this a little bit. Create some space here. To answer the first question, what percent of stocks reported a positive change over the year to date? So, solution. What percent of the stocks reported positive change over year to date? So, that percent will be 212 reported positive change over year to date divided by grand sample size or total sample size is 470. So it's 212 divided by 470. And that is equal to 0 0.451 or 45.1%. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> Part B. What percent of stocks reported a negative change over both time periods? Negative change over both time periods. Okay. So negative change over both types. So negative change is the second row, 48 and 25. Now 48 is a 
number which correspond to positive change year to date but negative change on October 24, 2011. However, we are looking for negative change on both time periods. That would be intersection of negative change second row with the second column which is negative change year to date and that number is 25. So 25 over 470. Okay. So that percent will be because it is negative on uh, October 24, 2011, as well as negative year to date. So that is what we are looking for is 25 over 470. And that will be equal to zero point zero five three zero point zero five three is equal to five point three percent then part c it says what percent of stocks reported a positive change over both time periods reported a, a positive change over so positive change here to date is the first column and positive change on 24, 2011 is uh, the first row, but the intersection of the first row, positive change in 24, 2011 and positive change year to date is 164. So that percent we are looking for positive on both time periods percent is the intersection of first row and first column. It's 164 over 470. And that is equal to 0 0.349. 0 0.349 is 34.9%. Okay, so that is part C. Now we need to create some space for us. So we will move this up. Maybe we can move up a little bit. Okay, so we'll go back here. Okay, part D. What percent of the stocks reported a positive change in one period and negative change in the other period? So, positive change in one period and negative change in the other period. The first row positive change on October 20, uh, 20, uh, 24, 2011 and the second column is negative change year to date. So, that number is 233. So, it is positive on October 24, 2011 but negative year to date. So, that number is 233. So, percent is equal to 233 plus you have to also consider the negative change in October 24, 2011 which is the second row and the intersection with the first column which is positive change year to date. So that is 48. So 233 plus 48 divided by the grand sample size which is 470 and that is equal to 233 plus 48 is 281 over 470 and that is equal to 59.78 or you can say 59 0 0.598 or 59.8 percent part E. Among those stocks reporting a positive change on 24, uh, um, among those stocks reporting a positive change on October 24, 2011, what percent reported a positive change over year to date? So among those stocks, reporting a positive change in October 24, 2011. The total of that first row 
is 397. So among those stocks means among 397 stocks, total of first row, okay? What percent reported a positive change over year to date? That is 164. So percent is 164 out of a total of 397 stocks which reported a positive change on October 24, 2011. So that percent is 164 divided by 397. And that is equal to 41.3%. Or 0 0.413, 0 0.413, which is 41.3%. Okay, now I will move this a little bit up. Part F, among those stocks reporting a negative change on October 24-2011, what percent report a positive change over the year to date? So among those stocks reporting a negative change, that is the total of the second row, negative change in October 24-2011, total of the second row is 73. How many of them reported a positive? So that percent is 48 out of 73. So part F percent is equal to 48 out of 73. Why dividing by 73? Because total of negative change in October 24, 2011 is 73 out of whom 48 showed positive year to date. So 48 divided by 73. And that number is 0. 6.58. So this is 0 0.658 or 65.8%. Okay. So it's a little bit more. Maybe I can reduce this a little bit. Okay. Yeah, let's keep it like this. So now they're saying, what relationship, if any, exists between the performance of a stock on a single day and its year-to-date performance? Okay. So... If we focus on the first row, okay? If we focus on the first row, total of the first row is 397, okay? Out 397 is positive change in October 24, 2011. Okay? So, out of them, okay, you notice out of 397, the total of the first row, negative change year to date is 293. Okay. So we notice that percent that of the total of positive change on October 20, 2011, percent negative. Okay. Percent negative. Uh, out of stocks. Showing positive performance on October twenty four, twenty eleven. Okay, out of stock so, so negative percent negative. We are looking for percent negative. And that is equal to, that is equal to, negative is 283, 283 out of 
397. Okay, so 283 out of 397. Three point seven is equal to two hundred and eighty three divided by three hundred and ninety seven, and that is equal to seventy one. So that is equal to zero point seven one two is equal to seventy one point two percent. Okay. Now, let's look at the percent. Percent negative out of stocks showing negative performance. Negative performance negative performance on October 24, 2011. Okay. And that is equal to 73 stocks showed negative out of which uh, 25 for the whole year is also negative. So 25 out of the 73 is negative. So 25 divided by 73. So 25 divided by 73 is equal to 0 0.342 or 34.2 percent. Okay. So what does it mean? So companies that should, you see these two percentages are different. The first one is greater. That means companies which shows a positive performance on October 24, 2011 would more likely to show a negative change for the entire year, that percentage being 71.2. On the other hand, companies which shows negative on October 24, 20, 2011 only uh, 34.2% of them will show negative performance for the entire day. So although on one particular day, October 24, 2011, some stocks showed negative performance, more of them will show positive for the entire year than for the stocks which shows positive uh, on uh, October 24, 2011. In that case, more will show a negative performance for the entire year. So there is no relationship. One day performance is not related to the entire year performance. Specifically, we saw the stocks which showed negative on one day, more of more percent of them will show positive for the entire year. And the stocks which showed positive on one day, more of percent of them will show negative. So there is no relationship between negative change or positive or negative change on one day and the performance for the entire year. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, please write me a uh, note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please share this video with your friends. And you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by, hit, by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.